Yo, what's up everybody? It's Stephen here from Mod The Fiend, and we back with another video. But for the first time we're doing this ever, this video is being brought to you by Fur Day Wheels. And thanks to Performance Industries jumping in on the project, we about to show y'all something real special. Cheapo Kitty is finally getting some new shoes. Thanks for our, to our partners, our technical partners, Verde Wheels. So let's crack them open. Let's see what's in it. Let's go. super excited and you open in a box all careful. That's a good feeling, man. Nothing like an unboxing video. It's nothing like an unboxing video, especially when it's new shoes. This ain't cell phones. Wow, okay, so they double box it. That's good for protection. I've seen some horror stories. I've seen some horror stories before when we don't, uh, have that double. I'm pretty sure you've seen that. Oh, Wheels show up the show. All right, so let's see what information is on the outside. Let's see what we can find out about these Verde wheels. So before we even open them, we already know that it is the VFF02. That the uh, that's the name of the wheel. The size I gave it away already. It's a 20 by 11 that was thrown on the back. This is a uh, they call it the brush dark palladium. What it really is is like a tinted brush aluminum. Offset is a 27, and the center board matches the Hellcat perfectly. So let's crack it open and see what's going on. All right, all right, okay. We about to open it up for the first time. Eugene, you might want to catch my face for this one. I don't know. Let's see, let's see. All right, ain't nothing to see yet. Still just another cover. Okay, ring, uh, protective ring, thank you. Very much so. Wheel registration. I gotta register my wheel. Right, that's pretty dope. I'll definitely do that later. But the moment we all been waiting for, God damn it! Okay, for real this time. The moment we all been waiting for, and beauty montage in three, two, one. The wheels that come on a Hellcat is a 20 by nine and a half, and these wheels are forged, so they are light. But what Verde actually does, if you look at the uh, the process or the the construction process of these and how they're made, you could actually see it here now. So this is a flow form technology wheel. Flow forming means that the wheel started out this big, right? So what that allows them to do is use uh, a forging process or a forge center pretty much and then the barrel they can actually with pressure with a press they spread the barrel to the different sizes so the first size that they offer comes to like here second size they offer and the, the process is actually really cool I'll actually overlay uh, that process now the construction but it's spread out to make this width so what does that do right what that does is, it makes the wheel lighter, stronger and lighter. So you have the, like the, the, the weight savings of a forged wheel with a low pressure cast wheel or a high pressure cast wheel. And here's some information here that talks about that, right? So you have all the information here about the wheel, 20 by 11, the offset, 50115, designed in the USA, made in China and the max load is 1,800 pounds. So that means that these wheels were tested and they are JWL approved. So JWL testing is the testing um, that is used to say if a wheel is safe or not. Uh, they test for load, they test for pressure. Um, so with this JWL approval, that means that these wheels are safe to use on uh, roads, especially on cars like the Cheapo Kitty with that much horsepower. Um, the max 
tire diameter they say to put on it is a 33 inch. Okay, that's not important. And the max tire pressure is 60 PSI. But that's all the technical stuff, right? I told you guys, I know a lot about this stuff. I don't talk about it a lot, but I do know a lot about this stuff. It's kind of the thing that I like to do. But what I want to show y'all right now, let's check and see how this wheel spins. All right guys, so what we're gonna check now for is how true this wheel actually spins. Um, but first, let's look how pretty it is when it spins. Nice. But what we wanna check for right now is, I just wanna see how it spins, right? If there's any hop, if there's any wobble. Let's check Verde's quality. And as of right now, as you guys can see, this thing is straight as an arrow, look at that. That's pretty true. All right, so I guess that gets a pass. So the next thing I wanna check for after that is I mentioned that the Cheapo Kitty comes with uh, forged wheels, right? Uh, 20 by nine and a half. These wheels are 20 by 10 in the front and 20 by 11 in the back. So what I wanna know is the weight comparison between the two. So what I'm gonna do is, because we gotta pull the tire pressure sensors out of Cheapo Kitty, what I wanna do at this time is, I wanna weigh the Verde wheel, and then later I'll compare it to the weight of Cheapo Kitty. Let's do that now. About to throw it on the scale, and see what's up. Thanks Mario, I appreciate the help man. You gotta put it at kind of an angle, so that we can get it all the way on there. And I will give you guys the number. Mario, can you see that number? I'll move it up a little bit. Yep. It is 26.6 pounds. Whoop. Yep, 26.6 pounds. And wow. Talking. That is that is really freaking light. For a, for a 20 inch by 11 cast wheel, that is super light. That's incredible. That is really light. I can't wait to weigh. We don't even need to weigh the front wheel because we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait one of the stock ones, and I guarantee you. I guarantee you that one of the stock wheels has to be very, very close to that. So that means that the front wheel is probably even lighter than the back. Than the back wheel, absolutely. There you go, guys. Proof is in the pudding, baby. And well, did you look at these caps? Wow, they're metal. They're aluminum caps. That's really nice. That's a really nice touch. That's mostly what you only see on very high-end, like, three-piece forged custom wheels. So that's pretty good. And the finish on them is really good as well. I must say, so far, man, these, these are pretty impressive. Look at that. It's nice. See that finish on there, too? And it says Verde Form. Again, remember I was telling you about that it's a flow form technology. So uh, they want you to know that as part of branding, which is smart. Now, none of this would be possible without our tire partner, right? You know we needed a tire partner. So special shout out to Vertistein. A lot of people don't know this company, right? A lot of people are like, well, Stefan, who the hell is a Vertistein, right? Well, I've been using these tires on my cars for about the last, I would say four years. The Corvette has them, the Porsche has them, and now Cheapo Kitty is gonna have them. So they came out, so they came out with a new design. And this new design that they came out with is called their Vertistine Vorti. These Vortis is what I run on a Corvette, and let me tell you, although that car only makes about 380 to the wheel, I can, from a dead stop, just mash the gas, and it hooks and goes. My hope is that uh, Cheapo Kitty, maybe not from a dead, dead stop on the street, but my hope is from a dead stop on Sunday on the track, that these Vertistines are gonna do the same thing that they do on my Corvette. But one thing I really, really like about these tires are, not only 
is this a 315, right? So this is the big doll. We're putting 315s on Cheapo Kitty. To be exact, we're putting 315, 35, 20 on Cheapo Kitty. So not only is it a super wide tire, but one thing that I noticed is that these tires actually run a little over spec. So for an example, I have the same tire on the Corvette where I'm running a 295. I had 305s on the Corvette before and these in 295 were bigger, they were wider. So these 315s are more like 325s. So that's why they look so freaking wide. As a matter of fact, let's put them up next to the car. So here they are. Gene, you mind holding that for a second? So right now, Cheapo Kitty has 275s on it. That's a 315 next to it. Let's see what the difference is between the two. I don't know if you guys could see that, but good God, those 275s look like bicycle tires next to these big meaty 315s. So we gonna be able to, uh, we should be able to really put the power down now for the first time like we never have before. So special thanks to our tire partner, Vertistein Tires. You guys should check them out. They actually make really good sizes for all cars. Uh, specifically though, Hellcat, they have this this Vertistein uh, Vorti tire available in a 275 and a 315, which is what I'm going with. 275, 40 for the front, for the 20 by 10 inch wheel that I'm gonna run from Verde, as well as a 315, 35, 20 for the rear that Eugene is holding up. I'm sorry, I gotta show y'all this again. God, that's a lot of tire. Look at that. The fact that that all goes up under the car, even with Cheapo Kitty as low as she sits, whew, I so can't wait. I'm like so excited to get this on already. Hurry up and install these wheels. Come on, performance, hurry up, please. God, I can't wait anymore. back cheapo kitty cheapo kitty is coming out so dope man i'm so excited for how this car is coming together and this is more for the look goods uh don't worry performance mods are definitely coming but if i was gonna get tires for the car i wasn't just gonna get some you know regular tires from my factory wheels or you know get just wider replicas i actually like the idea of having a really good look as well as functionality form and function is what I like to refer to it as. But listen guys, Cheapo Kitty is looking dope AF, and I want y'all to see that right now. So beauty shots of Cheapo Kitty after this zoom in right now.
How's she looking? How's she looking? Cheapo Kitty looking crazy, right? I know we got to get this car a new name because there's been money, some money going into it. But again, I just want to send a special shout out to Verde Wheels. Um, they really wanted to work with us, which is really cool. The fact that they saw that you guys are so engaged um, that they wanted to work with us. And you know what they said? Listen, we'll send you the wheels. Nothing biased, you know, nothing like that. Just put them on a the car. And if you like it, give an honest review. So here it is, guys. As far as the wheels go, great quality. That's one thing that I could say. Uh, the quality is really good. I mean, you guys saw the construction process. Y'all saw when I unboxed it. Y'all saw these, those beauty shots of the wheels themselves. For the price point that these wheels are at, the quality is like really damn good. Um, on a Porsche, you know we got three-piece custom forged wheels. Is it on that level? No, but the Porsche wheels were $8,000. Uh, these wheels are sub $2,000, so huge difference there, right? But for the price point that they are, I can't believe how light they are, one. I can't believe the fitment is so good. If you notice, like, it's pretty damn good with the fender, and Cheapo Kitty is slammed. So Cheapo Kitty has a good amount of negative camber, which makes the wheel angle in more. On your car, if you don't have it lowered, these wheels will, like, be flush, hella flush with the fenders and look crazy as well if your car is not lowered so overall man I, I give these verde wheels a really big thumbs up um we're gonna change it up a little bit though because in my opinion this finish uh color i don't know if i like it as much i like it i don't know if i like it as much as i liked the uh brass monkey color so what I'm thinking about doing uh, is Proformance is saying that they can make these wheels the color of the Brass Monkeys. Put in the comments right now what you think. If you think we should do that Cheapo Kitty, make these wheels the color of the Brass Monkeys. I think that would look sick. So the question is, what is the benefit uh, of these wheels going over stock? First and foremost, wheel width. Now we can put some real tires. We got 315s up on the Cheapo Kitty. Tire review is coming a little bit later. Uh, after Mod the Fame Fest and all those videos, then we're gonna do a tire review because we're gonna talk about how these tires worked out on the track. But anyway, you can now run a real tire, meaty as hell on there, and the fitment makes it look so much better. It makes it look much more like brolic. This is not a wide body car, but it has a wide body type of stance now with the wheels and everything. So one thing I will say, I'll give a, again a thumbs up to that. But anyway, guys, if you like this video you know what to do like subscribe and share but until the next one i'll see you at modifying fest soon we out